Welcome, dear viewers, to an exploration of the enigmatic and awe-inspiring realm of ancient celestial beings. Our journey today will take us through the annals of history, mythology, and religion, unveiling the mysterious entities that are said to have haunted the Earth since time immemorial. These beings, often depicted as powerful, divine, or even fearsome, have fascinated humanity for centuries. From the ancient Sumerians Anunnaki to the Nephilim of biblical lore, we will delve into their origins, characteristics, and the lingering question. Do these ancient celestial beings still haunt the earth today? The Anunnaki, gods of ancient Mesopotamia. Our first stop is ancient Mesopotamia, where the Sumerians spoke of the Anunnaki. A group of deities who were believed to have descended from the heavens to influence and interact with humanity. The Anunnaki are often described as powerful beings who played a crucial role in the creation of humanity and the early civilizations of the region. According to Sumerian mythology, the Anunnaki were the children of Anu, the sky god, and Ki, the earth goddess. They were divided into two factions, those who dwelt in the heavens and those who descended to earth. The latter group was said to have been involved in the creation of human beings, either as a labor force or as beings to serve the gods. The Anunnaki's influence extended beyond mythology and into the very fabric of Sumerian society. Temples and ziggurats were built in their honor, and rituals and offerings were performed to appease these powerful deities. The Sumerians believed that the Anunnaki had the power to control natural forces and bring prosperity or disaster to humanity. The Nephilim, Giants of the Bible Next, we turn to the Hebrew Bible, where we encounter the Nephilim, a mysterious race of giants mentioned in the book of Genesis. According to the biblical narrative, the Nephilim were the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men. This union resulted in beings of immense size and strength, often described as giants who roamed the earth in ancient times. The Nephilim are mentioned in several biblical passages. Most notably in Genesis 6 1-4, where their presence is linked to the wickedness of humanity and the subsequent Great Flood. The text describes them as heroes of old, men of renown, suggesting that they possessed extraordinary abilities and played a significant role in the ancient world. Scholars and theologians have debated the nature of the Nephilim for centuries. Some interpret them as literal giants, while others view them as symbolic representations of human hubris and moral decay. Regardless of their true nature, the Nephilim continue to capture the imagination of those who study ancient texts and seek to understand the mysteries of the past. The Watchers, Fallen Angels of the Book of Enoch, our journey now takes us to the Apocryphal Book of Enoch, a collection of ancient Jewish texts that expands upon the biblical account of the Nephilim. Also introduces us to the Watchers, a group of fallen angels who played a pivotal role in the corruption of humanity. According to the Book of Enoch, the Watchers were angels who were tasked with observing and guiding humanity. However, they became enamored with human women and descended to earth to take them as wives. This transgression led to the birth of the Nephilim and the spread of wickedness and violence across the earth. The leader of the Watchers, a figure named Azazel, is said to have taught humanity various forms of forbidden knowledge, including the arts of warfare, metallurgy, and sorcery. The Watchers' actions incurred the wrath of God, who sent the Archangels to bind them in the depths of the earth as punishment for their disobedience. The story of the Watchers and the Nephilim highlights the dangers of unchecked ambition and the consequences of defying divine order. It serves as a cautionary tale that has resonated through the ages, reminding us of the delicate balance between the heavenly and the earthly realms. The Jinn, Supernatural Beings of Islamic Tradition As we move forward in time, we encounter the Jinn, supernatural beings from Islamic tradition that share similarities with both angels and demons. According to Islamic belief, the Jinn were created by God from smokeless fire, and they possess free will, allowing them to choose between good and evil. The jinn are mentioned in the Quran and various hadiths, where they are described as beings who inhabit a parallel world to that of humans. While some jinn are benevolent and help humans, others are malevolent and seek to cause harm. The most famous of these malevolent jinn is Iblis, who refused to bow to Adam and was cast out of heaven, becoming a figure analogous to Satan in Christian tradition. Islamic folklore is rich with stories of jinn who interact with humans, often in mysterious and unpredictable ways. They are believed to inhabit remote and desolate places, and their presence is sometimes blamed for unexplained phenomena and misfortune. The concept of the jinn highlights the complexity of the supernatural world and the belief in unseen forces that can influence human lives. It also underscores the importance of faith and righteousness in navigating a world where good and evil are in constant conflict. The Celestial Hierarchy, Angels in Christian Tradition Christian tradition offers a detailed hierarchy of celestial beings, often referred to as the celestial hierarchy. This classification, 
developed by early Christian theologians such as Pseudo Dionysius the Areopagite, divides angels into nine distinct orders, each with its own role and function. At the top of this hierarchy are the seraphim, who are closest to God and are described as beings of pure light and love. They are followed by the cherubim, who are often depicted as guardians of divine mysteries and the throne of God. The next tier includes the thrones, who are associated with divine justice and authority. The middle tier consists of the dominions, virtues, and powers, each of which has a specific role in maintaining the order of the cosmos and executing God's will. The lower tier includes the principalities, archangels, and angels, who are more directly involved in human affairs and serve as messengers and protectors. This hierarchical structure reflects the belief in a well-ordered and harmonious cosmos. Each being has a specific purpose and place. It also emphasizes the idea that angels are intermediaries between God and humanity, helping to bridge the gap between the divine and the mortal realms. The Seraphim and Cherubim, Guardians of the Divine Among the most exalted beings in the celestial hierarchy are the Seraphim and Cherubim, often depicted as the closest attendants to the throne of God. These beings are described in vivid and awe-inspiring terms in various religious texts. The Seraphim are mentioned in the Book of Isaiah, where they are described as having six wings and standing in the presence of God. Their name means burning ones. They are often associated with divine love and purity. The Seraphim's role is to continuously praise God and to serve as conduits of His divine energy. The Cherubim, on the other hand, are frequently depicted as guardians of sacred spaces and divine mysteries. In the book of Ezekiel, they are described as having multiple faces and wings, symbolizing their ability to perceive and understand the divine will from all perspectives. The cherubim are often associated with the protection of the Garden of Eden and the Ark of the Covenant. These exalted beings serve as reminders of the transcendent and ineffable nature of the divine. Their presence in religious texts and iconography underscores the belief in a heavenly order that is both majestic and beyond human comprehension. The Ophanim, the Wheels Within Wheels Another fascinating group of celestial beings mentioned in the Bible are the Ophanim, also known as the Wheels. These beings are described in the book of Ezekiel as a complex and mysterious part of God's chariot. The Ophanim are depicted as wheels within wheels, covered in eyes and capable of moving in any direction without turning. The Ophanim's unique appearance and function have inspired a variety of interpretations and speculations. Some scholars view them as symbolic representations of divine omniscience and the ability to perceive all things simultaneously. Others see them as embodiments of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the cosmos. The Ophanim's role as part of God's chariot highlights the idea that the divine is both transcendent and imminent, capable of moving through and interacting with the physical world in ways that defy human understanding. Their presence in the biblical narrative serves as a powerful reminder of the mystery and majesty of the divine order. The Four Living Creatures, Guardians of the Throne The Book of Revelation introduces us to another group of celestial beings known as the Four Living Creatures. These beings are described as having six wings and being full of eyes, and each one has a different face, that of a lion, an ox, a man, and an eagle. They are said to stand before the throne of God, continuously praising Him and proclaiming His holiness. The four living creatures are often interpreted as symbols of the four evangelists and the various aspects of Christ's ministry. The lion represents Mark and the power and kingship of Christ. The ox represents Luke and the sacrificial aspect of Christ's work, the man represents Matthew and the human nature of Christ. And the eagle represents John and the spiritual and divine nature of Christ. These beings serve as guardians of the divine throne and as perpetual reminders of the multifaceted nature of the divine. Their continuous praise and worship highlight the centrality of devotion and reverence in the relationship between the divine and the mortal realms. In exploring the ancient celestial beings such as the Anunnaki, Nephilim, Watchers, Jinn, Seraphim, Cherubim, Ophanim, and the Four Living Creatures, we witness a tapestry of divine and mysterious entities that have shaped human understanding of the spiritual realm. For believers in Christianity, these beings underscore the vastness and complexity of God's creation, revealing a divine order that transcends human comprehension. The narratives of these beings, from the awe-inspiring seraphim who dwell in God's presence to the enigmatic watchers who fell from grace, highlight fundamental themes of divine love, justice, and the struggle between good and evil. They serve as powerful reminders of God's omnipotence and the eternal battle for the souls of humanity. For Christians, these stories are not mere mythologies but profound truths that reflect the spiritual realities of our existence. The celestial hierarchy, with its varied and majestic beings, calls us to a deeper reverence for God and a recognition of the spiritual warfare that surrounds us. It encourages us to remain vigilant, faithful, and devoted, 
trusting in God's ultimate plan for redemption and salvation. As we ponder these ancient accounts, let us be inspired to live lives that honor the divine order, seeking to align ourselves with God's will and to resist the temptations that lead us astray. May the knowledge of these celestial beings fortify our faith, reminding us of the heavenly host that stands as both witness and participant in the grand narrative of God's creation. In their stories, we find not only a reflection of divine majesty but also a call to deeper faith and commitment to the path of righteousness.